Tonight, Peach Belt Conference Volleyball Action. UNC Pembroke taking on USC Aiken. Top team in the Peach Belt in-house, riding a 20-match winning streak. Pleasant good evening to you, ladies and gentlemen. Alongside Matt Sabatis, I'm Trevor Williams. Glad you could join us tonight for UNC Pembroke Volleyball. And Matt, if there's a David and Goliath matchup, this certainly is it. Talk about that first meeting, the last time the Braves took on USC Aiken. They hit zeros in the first two sets. It was really a match of errors for UNC Pembroke, almost more errors than kills. Like UNC Pembroke trying to turn the upset. It's coming to you next right here on the UNCP Sports Network. Smith goes around the block. Jones with the dig. Casey Bell, the bump set for Akia Jones and blasts it off at Natalie Peralt for another Braves point. Bell keeps it up for Ashwin. Tipped the front line blockers. Beck keeps it alive. Bump set for Gonzalez. Tankersley and Jones say no. Martinez, the pump set, back row attack for Duggan. Casey Bell sees it and digs it. Kata up for Elliott, tip back by Hines. Braves continuing on. Tyndall right side through the blockers. And an important back-to-back -back sequence for UNC Pembroke. Picks on the receipt. Good pass up to Kata. Elliott down off the hand of Beck, and the Braves have set point in the second set. This wasn't quite enough. Murchie over to the left side. Elliott and Tyndall packing up. Savannah Roy. Those set scores were 25-11, 25-12, and 25-16. The first time around with these two teams. The bump set over for Ellie Hicks. Dug out back, Tilon brings it back over to Smith. Braves send it away. That's a great duo right there. Michaela Elliott, Amber Tyndall going toe to toe up against the offense and they're just really able to hammer it home. Great height, two six footers for UNC Pembroke. The second setter in their 6-2 system, Bailey Jones, in to serve. Tilon brings it again over to Smith. Elliott trying to push it to the pack corner and does. Why not dance away into that celebration? Now you can tell the way she saw that ball coming out of her grass. She angled her wrists down, it seems, to definitely arc it up over top the back line. She was really able to place that ball well. A lot of experience in that block. Very impressive start for UNC Pembroke, nearly even to the side out percentage with Aiken. Smith goes around the block, Jones with the dig, Casey Bell the bump set for Akia Jones, and blasts it off at Natalie Peralt for another Braves point. The Braves front line is just hammering away at these blockers. I don't think there's maybe one, one full successful block from USC Aiken this set. It's April Tankersley and Akia Jones early on, two kills apiece off the blockers go the Pacers, that time it was Akane Obagwu. Color me shocked, actually. I was wrong. No successful box this set for USC Aiken. The Braves are really playing the house properly. The fourth best hitting percentage in the PBC for Obago. Bailey Jones with the long set over to Akia Jones. The Pacers trying to dig it out, but into net. Bit of an overpass. The try was for Kayla Duggan. Braves will take that. And that was another what could have been a tool on the blockers, but it threw Natalie Peralt off. She wasn't really able to bump that one properly, and it just threw the entire front line out of sync. So two points, the lead for UNC Pembroke. Ellie Hicks with the dig out. Back to Akia Jones on the near side. Set up back over right, tipped over by Macklin, tried the roll shot. Casey Bell, how about the dig out? Tipping the blockers was Ashwell, Duggan, with the dig, gets it on back from T-Lock. Braves set it back up in the pipe for Elliott. The volley goes back and forth. Smith blocked down Elliott and Jones. Fourth successful block for the Braves in this set already. Picked up already a, a quarter or a third of their, of their points in this single set on the block alone. The Braves are really getting it done, but what about Casey Bell with that pancake dig? That is her specialty. Mentioned 1,015 coming in, make it 1,018 now for Bell. Well done by the center, Emily Tilon. Saw the open space and turned it right over net. And that's one of the few miscues we've actually seen from the Braves throughout this one. Braves have been impressive, to say the least, at the start with a two-point advantage. It's sent in by Ali Smith on the serve. Bailey Jones goes pin to pin over to Madeline Ashwell. The dig for T-Line, the whistle comes, and the Braves will surrender the point as the ball was called wide over the antenna. So USC Aiken grabs the point. The officials, a little miscommunication pointing to either side. 
but Pembroke was called out on that play. Natalie Peralt. And, of course, Ellen McGill asking for clarification on this, and right. understandably so. You would if there is a miscommunication between the officials. She wants to make sure that her team can hold on to the what was a two-point lead. And they're going to replay the points. That makes the most sense in this situation. You had the top official, the floor official saying different things, and then the line judge didn't look extremely sure of what happened. And pretty typical in that scenario that you'll just replay the point. 12-10, USC Aiken with the serve. It comes from Ali Smith, the freshman from St. John's, Florida. Michaela Elliott pawing it to the corner. Telon with the hands first. Braves block, tempted on a try for four. Back over to Kia Jones, trying to use room out back and miss that corner just barely. Yeah, Elliott tried that same one on the attempted kill prior in the volley, but Akia Jones went with the same amount of force, it seemed, but the Pacers just weren't really falling for it that time. It, initially, Michaela Elliott's might have gone out, but Akia Jones tried to place it in the same position. Pacers weren't going to fall for the same one twice in a row. If you ask Ellen McGill, they want to paint those back corners of the zone. Alan Ashwell has it dug out by Rebecca Martinez. Braves kept it away from her so far for the most part. Hicks with a dig of her own to Akia Jones. A little high and angled off the punch at Allie Smith. Not sure that would have found floor, but Smith was flailing to try to get to. Braves are putting a lot of power behind these kills, a lot more than what I've usually seen from the games this season, and I'm enjoying it. A team that lost in three sets by 14 points in the opening set at Aiken, and they hold a lead right now. Akia Jones on the overpass. Telon backs it off on the right side for Macklin. Off the Braves it goes. There's a strong swing for the lefty. That's, not, that's an automatic resubstitution of Casey Bell. That's something that she can get night and day. It's understandable for Michaela Elliott. That's not her specialty, but you bring in Casey Bell, that's something she's going to get. At libero into the back row from Creedmoor, North Carolina, the only senior for UNC Pembroke. Receive serve with the hands. Jones funnels it over to Ashwell. Roll shot just dug out by Aiken. Again, over it goes for a roll shot of her own for Macklin. And back-to-back -back kills for the sophomore out of St. Charles, Illinois. 